All right, everyone. So today we have a really good deal. I was able to find this Hoover Power Path carpet cleaner at Big Lots for only $70. Seems pretty good. It has dual spin power brushes to lift deep down in bed of dirt. It's lightweight and lets you carry it upstairs. It has two tank technology to keep your dirty and clean water separate. It has an accessory pack with tools. A carpet cleaner this small, rarely ever have tools. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. You can see the double brushes right here. Dual spin power brushes, easy to fill. A 11.34, or no, 11 and three quarter inch uh, nozzle. Fingertip solution control and accessory kit with an eight foot hose and an upholstery tool. A sample bottle of solution and mesh storage bag. And it's lightweight and only 14 pounds. We also have this bottle of Hoover Pet Plus Carpet Solution, which I also was able to get for 30% off. This was $100 normally, but I got it for 30% off, so $70. So, ow. Pretty good deal. So, cut this, but it doesn't want to come off. Let's check out what you got with this Hoover Power Path. So here is your storage bag, instructions, and all that kind of stuff. Here's the handle. There's the little solution spray trigger right here. We have the hose, which is pretty similar because of this little solution clip right here, which you uh, use to spray solution from the hose. And now we have somewhere in this box. Just slide this out of the way. Hmm. Ah, there's the sample solution. I should say. Hopefully they didn't forget. <laughs> I don't know how long the cord on this machine is. Probably 20 feet. This thing is really tiny, isn't it? It's good though. I don't want some gigantic honking carpet machine looking for something on the little itsy bitsy side. Oh wow, look at those brushes. So here's our brush roll. They're pretty stiff brushes. They're loose right now because the machine is upright. These to be pretty good quality. Brushes do extend past the nozzle. This thing is actually like so cute. <laughs> it's so small. Ow, sharp right here though, jeez. But yeah, this is a pretty good uh, looking carpet cleaner. Let's see how big the motor is. It's six amps, so about as big as I'd expect it to be. So uh, let's put this machine together. At least if we don't need a screwdriver. Okay, oh, that's interesting. So you do, Put it like that right there. You go like this right here. So it looks like we will probably need a um a screw driver. We're probably in here. Yeah, I hear screws. Yep, they're right here. Ah, so here we go. These must go here, and then the single one goes up on the top. Okay, so relatively simple. So yeah, they do, it does have screws, so give me just a second, I'll go get a screwdriver. All right, so, screwdriver. Screw number one.
gets tired from this thing. And the other one, there's only one place that it can go, and that has to be through the hand. Weird. All right, let's make sure that we don't put a screw in the wrong spot. <laughs> and, like, break something. <laughs> Check and see where the final screw goes. All right. So it appears that... Not the best instructions. Oh, okay. Tested water for quality certain. So that's good. So if you find water inside of it, I mean, Hoover tested it before selling it to you. Thank you, Hoover. Okay, so. It goes right here. Interesting. Confusing at first, because I'll, I'll show you exactly why. I thought to remove the tank, you'd press here, but no. I was going to say, if you drill this in place, what the heck? But no, you press right there, and that's how you take the tank off. So here's our clean water tank. It's about what you'd expect. It's a clean water tank. Actually quite thick. It's not that cheap, brittle toy plastic that some machines are made with. That, where they get bumped once and shatter in a million pieces. Now this tank, this thing is like so cute and so small, but I guess that's what you want. Again, this is interesting. Jeez. Well, we know that the seal works. So here's the float valve right here. To prevent the machine from accidentally sucking up dirt that you don't want it to. Okay. Let me set that back on. And then this is where your hose goes. So you just lift this cap right here, I'm guessing. Okay. And then to put your hose on, I'm guessing that you just line it up like so. And probably the other way though. It has two seals, that's interesting. It's good. That is like seriously tight though. And then push down and rotate to lock. So all you do is you go like that. And now your solution is, well, looks like we didn't do it right. Okay. Okay, there we go. So now the hose is ready to use. Eight feet is pretty good for such an inexpensive machine. I think this is actually a pretty good bargain right here. And then, pretty simple. So, yeah, see, seal here, and then there's a seal here. So that's good. Well, that's because, oh, I see why. Okay. So, does this have a removable nozzle? So, this does rotate. So, the one thing I can say is the nozzle is not removable. So, if your nozzle gets filled with hair and stuff, you cannot clean it. That's one disadvantage. And the other disadvantage I can see is this huge gap of space right here. I don't, that's because it has two belts to drive. And there's also a shutoff mechanism because you can see these spin way too easily to be connected to the motor, which means that they're off when it's, uh, Right, and then when you recline it, then they're now they're engaged. But when you put the machine upright, now they come loose. So that's cool. That means that you're, the brushes aren't going to be grinding away at your carpet while your machine is sitting. So now it's time for the almighty test. Of course, we have a stain to clean up. You know me. Nice cord. It's thick. A three pronged cord. Interesting. Okay. 
So this seems to be pretty nice, actually. It's very light, like super light. That's because it's so small, but it's actually, it looks to be pretty well made. It's, I can't find any obvious weak points on it. So we're gonna put in some solution. We have a, a leftover stain left right here. It's right there. And then there's a big stain over in the other side of the room. Nope, it's falling over. Okay, so we're gonna go clean that spot up. One more thing. Oh, Jesus. So you get Hoover's Expert Clean Carpet and Upholstery Detergent two times strength with this machine. But we're gonna use the Pet Plus solution. Actually, should we use included? We're gonna use the included solution because that's the stuff that people are probably going to use out of the box. And when you, when you get it out of the box, it's gonna give you your first impressions to be to see how well the machine is going to work so i think we're going to use the included solution this bottle of expert clean and then we'll use the pet plus on the next thing so i will see you in the next video